Okay, um, my name is Noreen Ngwenyo. I'm coming from here, Tembisa. Um, I've got a problem, financial challenges, as well as my daughter who's got a skin problem and um, also HIV positive. Uh, it affected me a lot because it's just something that came out of the blue without me expecting. And so my daughter, the skin disease affects her through the ears such that she cannot, you cannot talk to her and understand. She does not understand anything of which her grades are going down in school. No, I never believed that, because I know how faithful I was, but I never believed that this, this is me. I never accepted it. Yes, uh, the prophecy that I was given, it was true. They prophesied about my daughter. I'm having someone, a, a child who's got a skin disease, eh? of which it was true. Then he also told me, I'm um, seeing you've got a problem with the, in your blood. And I told him, yes. He asked me, do you want me to say it out? I said, it's okay because I know it is. And I was prayed for yesterday by Papa. I'm feeling, I'm feeling blessed, really. Yes, he did pray for me. Um, I felt happy because he told me I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get married as well, of which is something that I know I, I've always wanted. So I felt so happy because you will not say something that will not happen. Um, what I can say is people, they must not listen to what people want. If you've got a challenge, if they've told you, Charis helps. Believe me, look at the testimonies. Don't rush. There is Charis TV. That's what I also did. Watch, understand, and learn from different kinds of testimonies. Then until it sinks in you, when you, when you understand God, how he moves in this place, then you can come and get also get help. Um, I'm Terry Akech. I'm coming from South Sudan, Juba. And uh, yeah, I learned about your program through the U uh, YouTube. And uh, my cousin, Veronica, invited us along because she was coming here actually. We had no plan of coming. But then she arranged everything, she paid for our tickets, everything, and then we came to join her here. And uh, the main purpose was sickness. Number one is uh, this lady's sickness, the one who has just been here. She has a growth in her mouth. So I think she felt like, uh, Veronica felt like, um, yeah, it's time for her maybe to come here and uh, have a word with, your, with, the, with the prophet in which we did yesterday. She was prayed for, and even today. And then uh, we have also like uh, some other f uh, family problems. And uh, yeah, we shared them yesterday and we shared them today and we were prayed for. So those are the main things, sickness and the problems in life. Uh, they're affecting us. Uh, one, one, of, one, one, one of the major issues we have in the family is like, uh, you know, this chain of death in the family happening every year. And then uh, the sickness, of course, if you're if you not feeling well, it, it affects the family, not you alone. And uh, we felt like uh, this is the time to run to God and seek yeah, help from God. Um, I don't know whether it is premature for me to say that I've seen like uh, there will be a great difference from what I'm experiencing right now. Yeah. Is it true or not? They were, they were true. Why is it true? Like uh, he mentioned one, one that he said uh, about alcohol, too much alcohol in the family which is actually true, my brother, my nephews. And then he mentioned about uh, the shadow of death in the family, it's just what I've mentioned. And then he mentioned about uh, my marriage coming too fast, it's true. We met, I, I think, with this guy like um, three months ago, and he's already into the issue of marriage now. So I think to me, though I've not shared with him what he was pointing out, and uh, he was mentioning as if it's something that I discussed with him or like somebody has informed him and I got shocked. He was like, uh, you are scared. And I was not scared, but actually I was so confused. Yeah. And how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling relieved and I feel like I'm in the right place. Um, although it could be, uh, okay, well, I don't know how the others will experience coming here. Because to, to me, we were having some issues, especially with the visa. And uh, finally, I think it was something that God had uh, planned for us to come here. We got it. So um, what I can say is like, uh, if you really have that um, strength, especially financially, I think it is the right place for everyone to come.
just to come, even if it's a day or two days, come and share your problem. Okay, God is everywhere. That's one thing that I know. But there is a special way that I can feel like um, uh, the, the, the prophet, you know, makes it happen here. So if there's a way that somebody can come maybe and share the experience, then I think it will, it will be good. Uh, my name is uh, Abigail Ngobeni. I'm coming from the Niger, Lehaya. I came here because of the family problems, marriage problems. Uh, my husband is cheating, he's not faithful. It's affected me a lot because he, he was not like that before. He was a good man. He just suddenly changed to become someone who I, whom I don't know. It's affect me a lot because now I'm no more talking with my sibling and we we used to be a good family but now we are apart we are not uh, we are not united we are not talking to each other the prophecy was 100% correct everything what he said it's what bring me here and I believe that in Jesus' name, uh, uh, I got my deliverance. I believe that everything is, is okay now in Jesus' name. Yes, he did pray for me. I felt, I felt good. I, f I felt good when he prayed for me. I felt like uh, all my problems are gone. Right now, I feel, I feel restoration. I feel, I feel good. I feel, I feel like everything is, is okay. Everything is sorted. All I can say to them is they must trust in God. They must come here into charity and believe that God will change everything. God, they will he will never fail them.